Hey there, it's AJ here, and in today's video, we're gonna look at seven things I don't really like about Windows 11. As you guys know, I've been using the Windows 11 Insider Preview since it was released a few months ago, and I think I've had enough time with it to find out what I like and what I don't really like about it, and that's what this video here is about. Of course, this computer is still running the Insider Preview as Windows 11 isn't out in final general availability, but the things that I don't really like about it seem pretty ingrained in the operating system, and I don't think they're gonna change anytime soon. Of course, if you guys like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and if you really want to supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So let's actually start with the start button, because I feel like in this redesign, they've actually taken away some of the functionality with it. In Windows 10 and the previous versions, you'd press the start button, scroll up just a little bit, and you'd be able to quickly press the restart or shutdown option on your computer. With the new start button though, you've got to press the start button and you scroll over to the right hand side, press the power button, and then you press sleep, shutdown, or restart. The issue here is that it was such a second nature thing to go into the corner of your screen, press start, scroll up a little bit, and you could turn off your computer. Or with your Windows keys, you could just press the Windows key on your keyboard, press up, enter, and then you could turn it off. Here, there's a few more steps and you've got to be a little bit more precise because you're now pressing on the start button and then you're moving over to the right hand side, pressing the power button, and then you're pressing the shutdown option. So I feel like in this redesign, they've actually added in more steps for you to shut down or restart your computer and it requires a little bit more focus and it's just not as fluid as before. On that same sort of flow, I feel like the apps in this redesigned start menu at the top here really doesn't quite hit the mark because in Windows 10 and the previous versions, you could press the start button and then on your mouse, you could just start scrolling to flick through all your apps. Right now, if I wanted to find an app that isn't pinned here, I'd have to press on the start button, scroll up to where it says more apps, click on the more, more apps option, and then I can scroll. The biggest issue here is that again, I've got to press I've got to be precise that I'm going up to where it says all apps, selecting on that, on that option, and then I can start scrolling. And I did think, oh, maybe they're doing it because they want to have a more tablet experience, but it doesn't really work like that on a tablet either. As you can see here, my Pro X is touchscreen. If I press the start button, again, I can't just start swiping or scrolling like I would on a phone or a tablet. I'd press the button, then I've got to be precise and going all apps, and then I've got to start scrolling through my apps. So I feel like they've actually added extra steps to do the basic things of either restarting your computer or swiping through and scrolling through all your apps you're looking for. You know, I think one way to fix this would actually just be swapping out where it has my profile and the start button by just swapping those two around. And also with your, your pinned apps here, if you just press the start button and on your mouse, if you do a two finger gesture to swipe, Maybe it should just automatically throw you into where it says all apps, or if you just could, even with your touch screen gestures, swipe to the right or to the left to pull up that all apps menu. I just feel there's little UI tweaks that they could make in here to make it a better experience, both for your keyboard and when you're using touch screen as well. Still looking at the start menu here, one of the things I really miss about the start menu of Windows 10 is actually live tiles. With the removal of live tiles in Windows 11, when I press the start menu on my computer, I'm now met with this static page, and I do really miss having the photos in a big uh, live tile where I just see my latest uh, photos flip through. I can still see this if I swipe into the left-hand side here, and this is where you get your widgets which take up half the page, and you can see here there's some photos of um, you know that are taken on this day. So I can still get that view, but again, it's not there every time I press the start menu. I've got to deliberately swipe in from the left-hand side, to pull up my widgets page just to see my photos. So I actually feel it's taken some of the personal out of my personal computer here because I really did love pressing that start button and seeing my photos there as the first thing that greeted me when I opened up the start menu. And of course, this widget page on the left-hand side, I've tried to get used to it. I've tried to find some ways of actually making it useful in my day-to-day -day use of Windows 11. But the fact that they've removed in the ability to swipe in from the left-hand side and see all of my open programs, and they greet me with just a few widgets and some news, I really feel they've taken a step back in that gesture because it was so handy, especially in tablet mode, to swipe in from the left-hand side and see all your apps that are open. Now when I swipe in from the left-hand side, really these widgets do nothing for me. 
I'd prefer it if I could swap it back to being able to see my task view and see all of the open apps. Now I've got to be deliberate and again press down the bottom here to take me into that task view mode. Another niggly bit that does annoy me sometimes is the fact that the Wi-Fi, your audio and your battery is coupled into this one little action menu. The issue here is that when I want to swap between Wi-Fi networks, back in Windows 10 and Windows 8 and Windows 7, I could select uh, specifically on the Wi-Fi option and then I'd get a list of all my available Wi-Fi networks. Now I've got the extra step of going into these three options here and then going Wi-Fi and then choosing my new network. The issue there again is the fact that they've added an extra step from two to three. So when I wanna swap between networks, it just feels like I have to do an extra bit of work and I don't think it's really necessary. I do have a, love the layout of this section here, but I do sort of wish they'd bring it back where you could swipe in from the right hand side and actually see your quick actions here instead of just seeing my notification and my calendar. In terms of the UI change, this brings me over to the File Explorer, which they have been updating, so I'm not sure if this is the final, final version, but there is one thing I do wanna show you which is kind of annoying. What I don't like about the File Explorer is at the top here where your ribbon used to be and they'd give you so many different options and features and functions and basically working with your files here. I'm just gonna select on a photo for now. They've now given you a few icons, which if you're not really that familiar with using a computer, you may have to take a few seconds to understand what they mean. And they've taken a lot of the options away from the top panel here. Um, I just think, yes, it does look a little bit nicer and a little bit neater, but there's removed a lot of functionality there because this option here for rename, really that icon doesn't tell me exactly what it is. The copy option, yeah, I can, understand that it is copy, but why would they want to remove just those little symbols down the bottom, the little nameplates that help you quickly understand where things are on your computer. And they removed a lot of the options as well. So I think it does look a little bit nicer. It's a little bit neater, but again, the functionality there has been taken away. I'm not sure if this is something they'll bring back or they'll put in with the accessibility features in Windows 11, but I do think that for a lot of people, especially those that aren't on their computer all the time, this will be a little bit confusing for them because there's no more just little nameplates at the bottom letting you know what every single button does. This is probably the first thing I noticed and I thought they were gonna change it with an update relatively quickly, but they haven't at all. It's the fact that to get to your task manager, it used to be simply you right click on your taskbar and then you could select your task manager from here but you cannot find your task manager by right clicking on the taskbar anymore. You have to go control, alt, delete, and then you have to select your task manager from here, which I feel like the task manager is such an integral part of actually using your computer because it's how you can see if you're using enough CPU, RAM, um, it, it gives you the health, it lets you shut down tasks if they're not working and being able to right click at the taskbar and then being able to go to task manager was, it's been part of Windows for so long, I don't understand why they've taken it away. Um, but also if you're using it in tablet mode where you don't have the keyboard attached, it's even harder to get to your task manager because you'd have to go to your start button. You'd have to type in task manager again with your on-screen keyboard and then you can launch your task manager. That was something that I learned to live with. I just remembered about it then as I was wrapping up this video, but I think that is probably my biggest annoyance with Windows 11 is the fact that I cannot right click and go task manager in my taskbar anymore. So there you guys have it. Those are seven things with Windows 11 that I found that I don't really like about this operating system and I feel like they are a bit of a step back. With that being said, it is actually a really great operating system overall and I think if you haven't already, you'll really enjoy using Windows 11 when it comes out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.